It is not easy to find a fire within you when you don't have a roof over your head and food on the table. Francis Ngannou, despite being dealt with the worst cards, proved how a homeless person can end up becoming the UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He has made a name for himself in the UFC in a very short time due to his inhumane power, his fast hands, and his lethal boxing style. The Predator is now considered among the greatest heavyweights of all time. Join us today as we talk about the homeless boxer who became one of the most brutal heavyweights in the history of MMA. Where does the Predator come from? Francis was born and raised in the village of Beatty, Cameroon. He has seen some of the darkest days as a child in poverty. He got little formal education while growing up. Nganu's parents divorced when he was just six years old, and he was sent to his aunt by his family. At the age of 10, he started doing an odd job in a sand quarry because of a financial crisis. As a youngster in society, Francis was approached by many different gangs because he was a fearless and furious street fighter. But he always used to decline the offer so that his family's reputation would not get affected. This was the time when Francis officially started pursuing legal fighting as a boxer. At the age of 22, Francis started boxing. But after a year, he stopped because of some illness and restarted doing odd jobs. But at the age of 26, he decided to get into the sport for real as he headed to Paris to pursue professional boxing. But another roadblock came into his journey when he illegally tried to cross the border and was caught by the Spanish government. After spending two months in prison, he got out of jail and reached Paris without money, friends or a home. Reminiscent about the incident, Francis wrote in an Instagram post, We were freed from the Spanish homeland security after two months in jail, and had nothing by then but a dream and a faith of pursuing it. This was a very hard time for him. He had left everything for a dream that was near impossible. He was struggling to survive on the streets of Paris, being homeless for a long period of time. And despite the challenges he had, Nganu refused to give up on his dream of a better life. One day, while he was wandering on the streets of Paris, Nganu stumbled upon a mixed martial arts gym. He was immediately drawn to the sport and decided to give it a try. He trained every day, honing his skills and improving his technique. Since day one, Francis has been a big fan of Mike Tyson. He wanted to box professionally before Lopez saw his talent and convinced him to do MMA. Over time, he became one of the top fighters in the gym and was offered the chance to compete in professional MMA fights. He was staying at Lopez's gym free of cost and that was the beginning of something special. The beginning. Francis started his MMA career in 2013, where he mostly fought for a French promotion and some other regional promotions in Europe. His dangerously effective fighting style and brutality, which he learned growing up in hostile streets, with a record of 5-1 and one were enough to get him into the UFC. On December 19th, 2015, he got his first shot in the UFC octagon. He faced another newcomer into the business with the name Luis Hernandez. He took his opponent out in the second round via knockout. Since the time Nganu got into the UFC, there was nobody who could stop him. Curtis Blades, Boyan, Anthony Hamilton, and Andrei Arlovsky all failed to defeat him. Coming from the streets of France, fans did not believe in the hype until they saw him going up against an experienced fighter with a good reputation. And the test for Francis was in the form of the veteran Alistair Overeem. Francis shut all the doubters as he knocked over him into the canvas in the first round with an epic uppercut which was so damn impressive that UFC offered him an 8-fight contract right after that fight. Duology with Stipe Miocic and Derek Lewis By the time Stipe Miocic was the heavyweight champion, it was Francis' turn to face the heavyweight champion at UFC 220. It was a war of 5 rounds. Francis impressed many fight fans but that was not good enough to beat the heavyweight champion. Stipe Miocic won the five-round war on a decision. After losing the title fight, Nganu was to be tested against another experienced, recognized star of the heavyweight division, Derek Lewis. They both fought at UFC 226, and Nganu lost yet again on the decision. Fans heavily criticized the fight because of the lack of offense from both competitors. In fact, the fight was labeled as the snooze fest. After that fight, something completely changed. The fire in Francis got intense, and he started his winning streak once again. Francis was scheduled to fight Curtis Blades, and he took out Curtis in the first round for which he earned the bonus of the performance of the night. He headlined the UFC's inaugural event against Cain Velasquez and again knocked the legendary fighter out in the first round. In the next two fights, Nganu concluded the fights quickly by getting it done in the first round and winning the performance of the night twice. 
After a couple of losses and bad performance, Francis Ngannou looked promising yet again. He dealt with everybody and bounced back stronger than ever. His fight with Stipe Miocic was incredible in every sense of the word. Francis was very composed. He controlled his nerves and did not rush even when he rocked Stipe a couple of times. Not only that, people were always critical of Francis for not having the ability to defend takedowns. Well, the moment when Stipe shot for takedowns and Francis was able to keep him at bay is one of the most memorable moments in the history of UFC. Improved wrestling and overall composure paid off, as he was able to knock Stipe out cold in a second round, winning the heavyweight championship. And with that, he won three consecutive performance of the night bonuses. If you want to learn more about what other top UFC fighters think about Nganu, make sure to check out the link above. UFC heavyweight champion. Francis came from a sand quarry and made it to the top of the world. His encouragement came from Mike Tyson, and his will to become the best made him the UFC heavyweight champion. According to the legendary fighter Michael Bisping, his story is the most inspirational story ever because of the odds he had to deal with growing up. However, winning against Stipe was not the fight that made Francis as famous as he is today. Francis was able to show that he could defend takedowns in that fight. However, with the incredible technique that interim champion Cyril Gain was taking his opponents out with, Everybody thought that he would easily roll over Francis with his creative style and high IQ. Once again, Francis shocked the world. He wrestled with Gain and won the match via decision. He defeated the undefeated Gain, who was a favorite in the fight. Later, Francis revealed that he was not at 100% and had a knee injury coming into the fight. With all of that, he was able to defeat Cyril Gain at his own game. Well, talk about improvement! It was highly anticipated that Francis Ngannou would face John Jones for his debut in the heavyweight division. Unfortunately, fight fans could not see that fight happening because the contract negotiation between the Predator and the UFC failed, as Francis wanted to explore the world of boxing. Ngannou's title was stripped, and the heavyweight championship bout was now going to be between John Jones and Cyril Gain. The Predator is stepping into the world of boxing. While fans would not be able to see Francis fighting John Jones, there is something great in the works. There are a lot of rumors that we are going to see Francis Ngannou in the boxing ring. A potential fight between one of the GOATs Gypsy King Tyson Fury and the uprising killer the Predator Francis Ngannou is going to take place. If that fight took place, it will gather a huge audience and it will be one for the record books, as two titans of the sport will collide. There are fighters who come from all over the world, and they have different stories. But it is amazing how Nganu managed to rise from homeless in the streets of Paris to the top of the fighting world. Despite his success, Nganu never forgot his humble beginnings and remained grateful for the opportunities he had been given. He used his platform to raise awareness about homelessness and to inspire others who may be facing similar challenges. Many MMA fighters have come across the idea of competing in the boxing world but have failed to prove that an MMA fighter can actually box. If a boxing bout takes place between the predator Francis Ngannou and Gypsy King Tyson Fury, do you think Francis is going to put Fury down? Or is Fury going to prove that an MMA fighter can never beat a professional boxer? We would love to hear your take on this in the comments section below. If you're enjoying our content and want to see more, be sure to leave a like before subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.